Hello, 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 everybody. It's your boy, J Malls of J Malls Gaming, here today to talk about Persona 6, or the lack thereof, any freaking mention of Persona 6. Now, this has kind of gone around a lot of the Persona circles right now. We're at the end, right, of all those Persona announcements that Atlas said they would be doing, and no new game announcement, just the ports. I mean, cool, I'm glad the games are getting ports. I want more people to be able to play the games that I love. Would have been nice to have, to have had a Persona 6 announcement, so I would be lying if I said I wasn't kind of disappointed. Though at the same time, it's not like the life of Persona 6 depended upon us having an announcement right now, right? Like, we're, we're all in agreement that there's going to be a Persona 6, right? Like, it's going to happen. Persona 5 did so well, I just don't see why they wouldn't do a Persona 6. And honestly, the thing that just... The only thing that makes sense to me, even in some kind of unlikely-to-be-true way, is that they maybe just don't want to overcrowd their news cycle right now, keep attention on the ports that are coming out in a couple of months, and then maybe a bit afterwards, you know, after Persona 3 Portable and Persona 4 Golden go multi-platform. Well, further at least. For Persona 4 Golden. Maybe a month or two after January, like, you know, February, March, April, around then. Maybe then they will announce Persona 6. Maybe. Because let's be all honest with, with ourselves right now. The absolute second we even see the title of Persona 6, we all know that all the hype and all almost all of the media surrounding Persona is going to be dedicated to Persona 6. We all acknowledge that's going to happen, right? So maybe they're thinking, hey, they all know that Persona 6 is going to come, because why wouldn't it? Let's just keep the media right now on Persona 5 Royal going off the PlayStation and onto multiple other platforms, and keep the fact that Persona 3 Portable and Persona 4 Golden are going to other platforms as well. Let's keep the let's keep the media on that for right now, and we can get the Persona 6 afterwards. That's just kind of what this gives me in terms of what could possibly make sense. Either that, or they're going through some like kind of hell with Persona 6's development. Like maybe that's the case. Like it's possible. I don't know. I haven't heard anything about it. But let's be honest with ourselves. They probably didn't expect P5 to do as well as it did. And as much as we want to say to the contrary, we all know they can't miss with Persona 6. Like, Persona 6 has to be good, or they'll get freaking lambasted on the internet. They know that, because once you build expectations so high, if you underperform, people are going to remember that. And it will sour opinion very quickly, because it has for other people. It has for other games. Now, I don't need Persona 6 to be even as good as Persona 5 Royal Royal, or Persona 4 Golden, because that kind of success, that level of storytelling, writing, and gameplay, that's hard to replicate. The gameplay, sure, you can just like copy-paste it, whatever. But that storytelling, those stories to tell, that's hard to replicate, people. That really is. But it is Atlas, so maybe they're capable of doing it. Hell, we had Persona 4 Golden, and then they immediately went to Persona 5, so it's possible. But if they aren't, if Persona 6 isn't even at least comparable to P5 in terms of quality, or if it's buggy, glitchy, and all that, they're gonna get roasted, and they know that. They know they can't miss. So honestly, I would rather them just take as much time as they need to make the game as good as possible. That's a sentiment you hear a lot for when games get delayed or whatever is that a lot of people say, just take the time you need to make it as good as possible. Doesn't always work, aka Cyberpunk, at least for launch, but you have a better chance of having a better game the more time you spend on polishing it, right? Now, I'm, I'm fully in agreement that Persona 6 is coming at some point, and I don't think it's years and years away. So what the hell could Persona 6 be about? Let's just transition to that for a quick moment, because I I feel like the main theory that I've seen floated about, and then I do agree with, is that it's a Persona 3 follow-up in some form. Now, I understand why people may be hesitant, because 
people worry that the ending of Persona 3 could be quote unquote ruined. It had a very striking and unique ending compared to Personas 4 and 5. But honestly to me, when I saw the endings for Persona 3, like, I didn't play the game because I didn't have access to it. I do now, but it's on, a, it's on my PlayStation 3, my PS3 is kind of buggy. But I have seen like all the cutscenes. Let's be honest with ourselves. That ending is ripe for a follow-up. Like, it really is. Like, spoilers for P3, for those who may not be aware. I'll go on in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Dude turning into a door in the very last cutscene, essentially. Like, that is prime follow-up material. They did do that a little bit with Persona 4 Arena. I think it was Ultimax specifically where they followed it up. No, they followed it up in regular Persona 4 Arena as well. Where it's like, you have Elizabeth going rogue against, like, Igor to try and find some way to rescue Makoto. We, they clearly have something planned for that story. Otherwise, they just want Elizabeth to be searching in perpetuity, and that's how the story ends. Which I feel like is kind of okay. I'm never a big fan of endings like that, but okay. Maybe P6 will just be completely standalone. Maybe we'll have a few references here and there like they like they tend to do. But there is a lot of imagery there. With the whole like three days after he died, three games after Makoto turned into a door thing going on. How Makoto like died to like keep keep I think I forget how you pronounce the thing's name. NYX, I forget how you pronounce that. To like keep him like to save humanity from that. Like three games afterwards, it kind of fits like if you want to go that route. I'm not sure if they're going to, but if I had to, like, take a guess without any promotional tr material, without a trailer or anything, I would say we at least see Elizabeth in some form of fashion P6. At least get an update on, like, what the hell's happening with her. Because at the same time, there is another reason, if you don't announce P6 for right now, there's another reason that could make sense. And that is you want people to play Persona 3 first. And you don't think enough of the community has been exposed to that story. So say you're Atlas, right? And say you have had this long-term plan since around the time the answer released for the Fe for Persona 3 Feds. That, hey, Persona 6 will be a follow-up in some form to P3. Then P4 comes out, you get a lot more success with that game, especially with Golden. And then P5 comes out, and everybody's hopping on 5. And it's like, where did all these people come from? Oh crap, none of them know P3. Or at least not a large amount of them. So P6, which we intended to be a P3 follow-up, might not land as what much as well. What are we going to do? Well, let's port a version of P3. Do we do base P3? Maybe not, because we probably want some more content there. Do we do Fez? I think Fez, Fez was PS3, and PS3 games tend to have issues with porting. Because the PS3 is like an Enigma wrapped in a codex. Okay, well, we kind of just have Persona 3 Portables sitting right here. It also has some more social links because there's also a an optional female protagonist. Hey, maybe this would be a good version to use. Let's port that. Oh, hey, look. This game now has a ton of hype for it. People are going to play it. They're going to be exposed. <laughs> Sorry, I got the hiccups. To the story. Maybe that's, like, part of the reasoning? I'm not sure, like, it's hard to tell, right? Like, until we see a trailer, all we can do is speculate. And that's just what I'm doing. Because I like speculating, I find it fun. Maybe Persona 6 has literally nothing to do with it. Maybe at one point they intended it for, for it to be a follow-up and just scrapped that idea for whatever reason. I don't know. We won't know until we get a trailer. Or until we get some kind of information for P6. But I do firmly believe that P6 is coming. And if I had to, if I had to say, if I had to throw my hat in the ring, I would say what I said earlier. I think we get a trailer at some point in the first half of 2023. Give time for P3 and P4 to digest, be out there, more so for P3, because P4 is on PC right now. Let it be out there, let people get exposed to those stories, draw P6 on them from above, with the hype as high as it could be, P6. There you go. That's what I think they're probably going to do, is that the P6 maybe wasn't ready for right now. 
Maybe they just need some more time in the oven. Maybe they just want to wait for the ports to be out there first for them to get all the publicity that they can and then go with P6. Maybe that's the reasoning. I don't know. So, if I had to say anything, my best bet for what P6 could be about is that it will be a Persona 3 follow-up in some form. I don't think most of the characters would be returning. I think it would be mainly a completely new cast of characters, and maybe the Velvet Room attendant would be Elizabeth this time. And it's just like, hey, I'm going to team up with Igor again because we believe we have some kind of way to get Makoto out of there. And that will be kind of like the overarching storyline there. Maybe that's what they could do. I'll be really interested to see if that's the case. Like, I would eat the hell out of that. I would eat that up every Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Hell, I'd be completely down for that. And, like, I get the hesitation that some people would have for following up a P3 story and messing with that ending. But honestly, I think P P3 base has a better ending than P3 answer. That's just my opinion. I think the base game had a better ending than than the answer, but we have the answer, and if we didn't have the answer, I would say keep P3 the, uh, by itself, keep it stay, let it just let sleeping dogs lie. But we have the answer. It feels like it's ripe for a follow up, in my opinion. I would like to see a follow up to that story. I'd be completely down for it. Plus, hey, it means more Elizabeth, and I'm kind of down for that. Elizabeth is a cool freaking character. So I'm gonna call the video there for the day. Thank you all for tuning in. Leave a comment down below with your best theory for what P6 could be about. Maybe you don't agree with my with my idea about what the story could be. Maybe what maybe you have an idea what the theme could be about. Let me know. Whatever you think P6 could be about or could entail, let me know. I'd love to hear your thoughts, read your opinions. Let's get some good conversation going down there, shall we? And while you're down there, please leave a like and subscribe. It really helps the channel out and helps support future content, and I greatly appreciate it. Stay safe out there, everybody. Have a great day, and I'll see you all next time. Bye-bye, everybody.